So in Vietnam, uh, we at CDC first learned about undetectable equals untransmittable or U equals U in the summer of 2017, when we were reading reports coming out of the International AIDS Conference in Paris. Together uh, with the Ministry of Health, we did a review of the scientific manuscripts, the studies that had been done. The Cake with K message was taken up in Vietnam with the CDC statement about there effectively being no risk of transmitting HIV to your sexual partner if you had an undetectable viral load. The science really does verify and validate U equals U. Không phát hiện bằng không lây truyền hay ca bằng ca là thông điệp đã được các tổ chức y tế chứng minh. Khi duy trì điều trị hiệu quả, người sống với HIV có thể có cuộc sống tình dục lành mạnh và hoàn toàn không thể lây truyền cho bản tình. We saw the potential of, of taking the U equals U message, translating it into Vietnamese, translating it into a context that makes sense for Vietnam, and using it for public health purposes. K equals K, which was Hong Pha Tien Ban Hu Lei Chien in Vietnamese, or Ka Ban Ka. That became then the, the Vietnamese translation, undetectable equals untransmittable or U equals U. The Ministry of Health quickly convened a press conference. They had a talk show that included um, doctors and person living with HIV and the ministry, and they revised the treatment guidelines to document treatment success as 200 and under. Khi tải lượng giảm xuống dưới 200 bản sao virus trong 1 ml máu, virus được ức chế hiệu quả. Dưới 20 bản sao không còn phát hiện được virus trong mẫu máu xét nghiệm tải lượng. Cả hai thường được gọi chung là tải lượng không phát hiện. At Park Mai Hospital, which is a, a national hospital, a tertiary referral hospital, they have some of the most complicated HIV patients in Vietnam. They have nearly 2,000 patients. They have extraordinarily high viral suppression rates. They had anticipated the science around K equals K in advance of it, and have sought to be leaders in the space within Vietnam. And so Dr. Pung, who is the, the director of the HIV program at Bach Mai Hospital, is one of the early spokespersons who explained on a national talk show what K equals K is, what the science of it is, why people can trust in the science. So then, to đạt được cái việc mà tải lượng virus dưới ngưỡng phát hiện và điều trị thành công, thì người bệnh phải tuân thủ uống thuốc đúng như đã. So he was already very knowledgeable about the science, about the studies behind it at the outset of the first rollout of K equals K in Vietnam. We have the resources, we have the quality programs that anybody can get tested and can get linked to treatment. We just need to get them into the services, but the services are quite strong. We work primarily through PEPFAR. PEPFAR, along with the government of Vietnam, working with the Global Fund, increased viral load testing coverage in 2017. And we saw program successes around viral load that really laid the groundwork for K plus K to be accepted here. CDC leadership in Vietnam began to share this message across multiple partners and networks. When we worked with the Ministry of Health, we were also engaging with the Vietnam Network of People Living with HIV, or VNP+. Plus. It's just this extraordinary moment of VNP Plus being the first community-based organization in Southeast Asia to sign on to the consensus statement that was coming out of preventionaccess.org. And that was where it all began. We're also dealing with issues of broad stigma and discrimination. When I started work here in Vietnam 14 years ago for the HIV program, People were presenting to the clinics very late. They were, they knew they had HIV, they were getting sick, they were about to die, but they wouldn't come into the clinics until they absolutely needed treatment. And why they did that? Because they were so afraid of the stigma. They were afraid of people disclosing their status. They were afraid of the shame they would be treated with when they went to the clinics. The stigma in Vietnam is aligned with Asian culture and there are a lot of pressures here about family and meeting responsibilities. In the North in particular, there's a more conservative culture. Unfortunately, when the first HIV diagnosis happened in Vietnam, a social evils campaign was launched in the country that kind of linked HIV to what they called criminal or socially evil behaviors, like um, injecting drug use or commercial sex work. That stigma and discrimination was undercutting our key programs. It limits the willingness of people to want to come forward and know their status, so they avoid testing if they're at risk. For those who test positive, they're reluctant to start treatment. Mình tên là Nguyễn Anh Phong. Mình đại diện cho mạng lưới người sống với HIV Việt Nam, VNB Cộng. Mình hỗ trợ chăm sóc cho người sống chung với HIV từ năm 2012. Cái việc khó khăn lớn nhất của người nhiễm HIV thì thường là họ bị kỳ thị, phân biệt đối xử. 
Cho nên họ giấu khi họ đã biết được cái việc mình đã bị nhiễm HIV rồi Nhưng họ vẫn không tiếp cận điều trị Và mình nghĩ là cái việc kỳ thị nó giảm đi rất nhiều Nhưng cái nỗi sợ đó nó vẫn còn Nó có cơ sở và nó có bằng chứng xác thực Và mình thấy được cái nỗi sợ này của họ nó lớn đến mức độ nào Là nhân viên y tế, tiếng nói của chúng tôi rất quan trọng đối với cộng đồng Chúng tôi tin tưởng các bằng chứng khoa học của thông điệp K bằng K và khởi động ngay việc truyền tải thông điệp này với cộng đồng tại thành phố Hồ Chí Minh và các tỉnh thành trên cả nước. Nhân viên y tế chúng tôi có vai trò quan trọng trong việc truyền tải thông điệp đến người bệnh để họ hiểu và tin tưởng vào thông điệp ca bằng ca, tin vào những bằng chứng khoa học. Thông điệp ca bằng ca có thể giúp mọi người hiểu về HIV là một căn bệnh mãn tính có thể kiểm soát được. VNB Cộng cùng với các tổ chức cộng đồng khác chia sẻ thông điệp này nhằm giúp giảm bớt nỗi sợ hãi và kỳ thị đồng thời khuyến khích nhiều người tham gia điều trị hơn. I really think cake plus cake can really encourage people to come in and get tested and know their status and reduce stigma of the general public because I think that is at the heart of why people wait to access services and why they wait to get tested. One of the first iterations of the campaign here was I'm positive, she will never be. I'm positive, he will never be. Um, and live, love. And so live, love really resonates with people because I think that's the, the core foundation of K equals K. And so we're taking that on and it's live, love. Tôi dương tính, nhưng chắc chắn anh thì không. The thing that is notable about this is it really was driven, you know, initially by BNP Plus and by, by the government, the NOH and getting those initial pieces of the community support for the, you know, translating the science into what it implies for the program. That gave an opportunity to get the message out. And then the government came behind and reviewed the science, the Ministry of Health, as it was reviewing the national guidelines. And those were kind of two critical pieces. How do you take this message around the science for um, what an undetectable uh, viral status means in terms of not being able to transmit and how do you take that as a way to uh, to remote people to want to come out and to be tested those who are at risk and to get into treatment quickly. Vậy đó, hôm nay cuộc sống vẫn tiếp diễn và trái đất vẫn đang quay chỉ là một ngày bình thường như bao ngày khác. Building on the first phase of the Cake Was Cake campaign, which focused on key populations, we moved into designing the second phase. By listening to our community partners, we addressed public stigma. What we're doing with this campaign this year is to reframe the conversation. We don't want to have on the one side of society but the general audience, and then on the other side, people living in HIV. We want to start erasing that barrier for them to merge. We need to make sure that the whole campaign and K equals K, U equals U, is to be part of everyday conversations. So our campaign is about them really suggesting you can live, you can love, like everyone else. It's an extension from our previous campaign, which was Live Love. Uh, but this time we want to make it relevant in the context of society. It will lay a foundation for people living with HIV to celebrate. You know, I am virally suppressed and I can't transmit HIV. I'm going to celebrate this. I can have families. People shouldn't shame me. The Ministry of Health committed to launching a national K equals K campaign to make sure the word goes out to all the provinces, all 63 provinces in the country, that it reaches all sectors of society. Community organizations received seed grants from CDC and PEPFAR and were really creative in getting the K equals K message out. Vietnam again took the leadership by issuing national guidelines about the dissemination of the message K equals K. It will provide programs guidance at the province level, at the local community level about how to integrate the messaging to promote testing, to promote enrollment and treatment, and treatment adherence. Why I think uh, Vietnam was able to move so rapidly with K equals K, it was decisive leadership, science coming out at the right time, the timing of the CDC endorsement, the consensus statement coming out being endorsed by BNP Plus. With the progress that the government of Vietnam has made with the community and with international partners, we have an amazing HIV program and you can see it. K plus K can be this mobilizing, energetic, celebratory message that's been adopted in Vietnam and can be scaled up all around the world.
I could say the one thing I want you to know about the HIV, I would want you to know about K equals K.